some of them doing it already so let's turn right away to our weather expert Fritz Nevos. Fritz you're like one of those guys balancing plates on tall sticks and you got too many of them in the air in this event, uh, we've been watching quite a few systems and uh, we're still watching them. In fact, uh, what used to be a tropical storm, Aaron, is now a tropical depression, but still capable of producing very uh, high amount of rainfall activity across parts of Texas. In fact, uh, we are expecting anywhere from 3 to 6 inches. Some areas could even get uh, 8 to 10 inches. And uh, isolated uh, thunderstorms and even tornadoes are possible over the next few hours. As you can see here, the system is expected to continue to affect parts of southern Texas over the next 24 hours. So lots of rain and uh, uh, possible severe weather into the forecast. While uh, we are going to be watching our first official hurricane of the Atlantic season, we are approaching the uh, peak of the season. Hurricane uh, Dean, which is packing winds near 130 kilometers per hour for now, but expected to continue to strengthen uh, over the uh, open Atlantic. And uh, we do have uh, hurricane warnings already in effect for parts of the Lesser Antilles, hurricane watches and tropical storm warnings. In fact, for uh, uh, places like Martinique, Guadeloupe, and uh, also in uh, Dominica and you can see it uh, strengthening uh, uh, over the next few days and uh, possibly becoming a category 3 hurricane into the next 72 hours as it heads just south of uh, Hispaniola. So we're going to be watching that system very carefully and people into the Caribbean are also over the next uh, few days for uh, possible development. And also we do have a, a super typhoon, Sepat, which is once again heading towards uh, Taiwan. They've been hit twice last week by two tropical storms, but now another one is heading back. Back to Steven and Willit.